In this video, I want to show you 10 songs from the 1970s that just use three chords in each song. The first song just uses the three chords D major, C add 9, and G major, three of the most common chords to play on guitar. Songs later on just use G major, C major, so a full C major chord, and D. And then we have four songs in this list that all use the chords D major, G major, and A major. So if you can play those chords, grab your guitar, join me in learning these fantastic songs, and I will link in the description to a page on my website which has chord sheets and longer tutorials where available for all of these songs. Check that out if you can. But let's have a look at song one, which is Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama can be played with three basic open chords, D major, C major, and G major in the same progression for the full song. It is two beats of D major, two beats of C major, and two beats of G major. So in the following progression, D, C add nine, and G, two, three, four, D, C, and G. For example, Sweet Home Alabama Where the skies are so blue Sweet Home Alabama I'm coming home to you Of course, this song is full of classic guitar riffs, including the signature intro, which we can play on acoustic or electric. And we have other riffs in the song, such as... Even then, even in that opening riff, it is basically D major, C add 9, with these hammer-ons and flick-off riffs. If you want to learn that, I have a full tutorial for it on YouTube, and we include some of the lead parts in that one as well, but that's a little bit advanced for what I'm going for in this video. So let me now show you four songs that can just be played with basic strumming and just the chords D major, G major, and A major. To play Let Your Love Flow, you'll need a capo at the first fret, and we just use D major, G major, and A major. And this is for example, Just let your love flow like a mountain stream And let your love grow with the smallest of dreams And let your love show, and you'll know what I mean It's the season. Strumming pattern, down, up, mute, down, 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 up. This is easier if you're familiar with the song. We're just really going for that opening riff. And if we just stay on the D chord, which we do for most of the verses, it's down, up, mute, down, 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 up. Let me give a quick demo just so you can hear how all of that can be put together to play this song. From the opening riff, from a D major chord, in two, three, four. There's a reason for the sun shining sky. There's a reason. Why I'm feeling so high must be the season When the love light shines all around us Just let your love flow Like a mountain stream Just let your love grow With the smallest of dreams And let your love show And you'll know what I mean It's the season
No capo needed for this next song, which just uses D, G and A major again. And the next few have a couple of riffs in that I'll show you as well though, but can be played with basic open chords. This is Up Around the Bend by CCR. The verse to Up Around the Bend by Creedence Clearwater Revival just goes between a D major chord and an A major chord. We can play this A major chord in three ways. This way with the first finger middle above and then the third finger below. Three in a line. Or with one finger. I really like doing this. Especially beginners could get used to playing this if they don't like uh, painful fingertips. So you can just play an A major like this which will need for other songs with these three chords also. Strumming pattern just down, down, up, down, up, down, up for one bar and we just repeat that. For example, and then for the verse, there's a place up ahead that I'm going A major, back to D. And to D. Then we have G major, D major, A major. And that goes over the lyrics to the chorus. Come on, the rising wind. We're going up around the bend. Those three chords will get you through the whole song. We do also have a great riff in that one though. This just uses triads of the exact same D major chord at 10, 10 and 11. And then the A major chord, this is the same shape but down at uh, fifth and sixth fret with a little slide for vibe and attitude. I have a full tutorial for that as well, links in the description below. But let's move on now to my next choice, for which I will need to grab my Gibson SG. This is long way to the top if you want to rock and roll by ACDC. This uses just the chords A5, so an A power chord, a G5 power chord, but played over five strings. String six doesn't ring out. We hit the, with the underside of the middle finger, we hit string five just to mute it. And then we have a D power chord over F sharp. Just playing the notes, uh, string six, four, three, and two. Again, muting string five, and we're not playing string one either. I believe for the original recording, the band tuned sharp, so to F tuning, I guess, uh, to be in tune with the bagpipes. Let me know if that's incorrect, because you could also play along to this with a capo, but I don't think ACDC have ever used a capo or a capo, ever. You let me know if you think that's correct. This signature rhythm is basically three strums. One, two, three. One, two, three. With that one finger A5 power chord. But the thing that makes this riff come to life is the muting that happens with the right hand and actually always strumming eights. One and two and three and four, like this kind of with a slight note ringing out, but really it's when do we unmute and when do we hold down this chord.
And to account, the first strum of this is on the and of four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. And between those first two strums, no mute between them. But then we mute, and then there's one on its own. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Angus has a riff over that, which is three, hammer on five on string five, pinky on fifth fret of string four, pick five, flick off to one, back to the chord. And then finally, super easy, one finger riff, kind of like. which is on those second two strums. You can even play them together by doing an A5 chord like this. Chorus A major, it's a long way to the top if you wanna rock and roll. It's a long way to the top, if you wanna rock and roll. Full tutorial for that available at andyguitar.co.uk, 100% free. Let's go on to my next choice now, which can be played with those same three chords. See if you can recognize this song by its opening riff. It's played on piano on the original. Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger can be played with a D major chord, a G major chord, or a G5 as I would prefer to play it, and an A major chord when we use a capo at the fourth fret. This can be played on electric or acoustic. If you can, do add the blue shuffle riff, which most people know on the D chord, but you can also play this if we use this G5 chord. Uh, so the middle finger is muting string 5 and that's not heard. We can use the first finger at the second fret of string 4. To play the same riff there, we can do the same riff as I'm sure you're aware on the A chord. And the full thing would sound something like this. Just take those old records off the shelf I sit and listen to them by myself Today's music ain't got the same soul I like that old time rock and roll Give me that old time rock and roll That kind of music just soothes the soul I reminisce about the days of old well, that old time rock and roll. We can play the same song without a capo. Just at the second fret, this would be a second fret F sharp power chord, a second fret B power chord, string five root note, and then we slide that to four and six. And then we add the shuffle riff. Bit of a wide stretch, but we can play it. Three chords. This next song is perhaps one of the most famous two chord songs that actually has three chords in it. This is by Fleetwood Mac and it is called Dreams. The reason why it's often mistaken for a two chord song is because most of the song is played with an F major 7, which I would choose to play like this, to a G major chord, and it repeats that for most of the song.
strumming pattern, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, per bar. Some people may even prefer to slide this F chord up two frets, which sounds great also. Please try it if you haven't tried this already. If you can hold down string six with the thumb, that's excellent, that's preferred, but if not, either mute it or just don't strum it. The only third chord in it is after the chorus over the uh, guitar part. Here's another song you can play with just the chords D major, G major, and A major. You just need a capo at the first fret to be able to play it along to the original. This is The Gambler by Kenny Rogers, and when we use a capo at the first fret, this can be played with the D major chord, and the progression moves to G major, to D. It repeats that again, and finishes on an A major. That whole thing repeats again, and it just finishes after the A major. It moves to D major, which gives it a perfect cadence in this key, as opposed to the imperfect cadence where it finished on the A. For example, you got no when to hold them, no when to fold them, no when to walk away, no when to run. You never count your money while you're sitting at the table. There'll be time enough for counting. A major when the dealing's done. And that's that perfect cadence at the end there. That can be played with the strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we repeat that, playing along to that chord progression, just like this. No end to fold up. No end to walk away. Never catch your mind when you sit in. For this next song, you'll need a capo at the fourth fret, and we just need to play the chords G, C, and D, and we're going to look at Cecilia by Simon and Garfunkel. Cecilia by Simon and Garfunkel can be played with G major, C major, and D major, but I do recommend we play the, or have a go at playing the G major like this, which I uh, learned as a George Harrison G years and years ago, um, because he uses it a lot, and it's really, really good for a quicker chord change between G major and C major if you can have that little finger independence to find that string one at the third fret proportionate to the capo. And the chord progression goes Cecilia, you're breaking my heart C major G into D It's very similar as that throughout the song and throughout the chorus strumming pattern down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And just one bar of that is down, down, up, down, up, down, up. For example... You're shaking my confidence And then C major to G. And then the same as we did before. Shaking my confidence daily Oh Cecilia I'm down on my knees I'm begging you please to come home Come on home 
My penultimate song choice also uses a capo at the fourth fret. This can be played with fingerstyle or a basic strumming version. This is Jolene. Jolene by Dolly Parton can be played just with the chords. A minor, C major, G major, and then the chord progression just repeats back to A minor. I've seen some chord sheets and uh, some lessons saying we hit an A E minor in there. I don't think that happens in the original, but either way we can simplify this to just a three chord song of A minor, C and G. Let me know what you think it is in the comments below. But the basic progression goes over the lyrics of the chorus and it's A minor, Jolene, C major, Jolene, G major, Jolene, back to A minor. And then G major, I'm begging of you, please don't take my man. Jolene, 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 please don't take him just because you can. The verses use exactly the same chords, we just have a shorter amount of time on the second A minor. For example, Your beauty is beyond compare With flaming locks of auburn hair With ivory skin and eyes of emerald green And it repeats like that. With a strumming pattern, this would be down, down, up, down, up, down, up, just to keep it super simple. For example, with lyrics two, three, Jolene, 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 Jolene. I'm begging of you, please don't take my hand. And then in the verses, your beauty is beyond compare with flaming locks of auburn hair with ivory skin. So a shorter amount of time on that second A minor. My final three chord song of the 1970s was actually written and recorded by Cat Stevens in the 60s. It's been covered so many times, twice in the 70s. I'm basing this on the Rod Stewart version. This is First Cut is the Deepest. The Rod Stewart version of First Cut is the Deepest can be played with the chords C major, G major, F major, and then the chord progression repeats back to G for most of the song. Two strums of each is a nice basic way to play this. The first cut is the deepest, baby I know. The first cut is the deepest. When it comes to being lucky, she's cursed When it comes to loving me, she's worst Those are my 10 songs of the 1970s with just three chords per song and quite a few fantastic riffs too. Let me know your favourites in the comments below. Please suggest any other three chord songs that even if I haven't done a tutorial for them, even better because then I can film them for you guys. I'll leave another couple of suggestions on screen now and if you need more help with playing things like this, simplified songs or nailing the riffs or anything, do please check out my website andyguitar.co.uk. We have so much exclusive uh, courses, lesson videos, uh, one-off videos, live streams, and a Discord community over there. And also courses have interactive tab, which could really bring on your plane. I know it's been a game changer for so many members. Please check that out. I hope to see you over there. Take care. Bye-bye.